The Hippodrome was the center of Constantinople's public life. Conceived as a stadium for chariot racing, it could hold as many as 100,000 people. The construction of the Hippodrome had taken place over centuries. It was a gigantic task incorporating every known building technique. Shaped like an enormous U and modeled after Rome's renowned Circus Maximus, Constantinople's Hippodrome was nearly a third of a mile long and wider than a modern-day football field. But the site its architects had chosen sloped severely to the south. And there they built vaulted substructures. As common in ancient Rome, vaulted substructures to create a level platform. Freemen and masons were brought in from around the Mediterranean. Their first task, to build the substructure's arched wall four stories tall. The arches created a gallery for shops and cafes. Above the substructure, two tiers of columns and more than 30 stone rows surrounded the sand-covered racing track. Like all Byzantine emperors before him, Justinian sat in an imperial box called the Cathisma, giving the Byzantines a rare glimpse of their ruler. It was a combination of sports stadium, public spectacle stadium, imperial propaganda, pulpit, all those things. It could seat huge numbers of people. Huge bets were wagered by fans of the various teams, the blues, greens, reds, and whites. They were like political factions in our world, and so disputes over soccer results as today, or disputes over chariot races, could take on a significant political dimension in Byzantium. The Hippodrome was one of the architectural glories of Constantinople. 